April was kind of a great month for movies this year. We had actually like unique original movies with everything everywhere all at once. The Northman, The Unbearable Boy, The Massive Talent was awesome. Fucking Morbius was a piece of shit. But now we're in May and I'm gonna tell you some of the movies that you should definitely be checking out in May and I'm gonna go in like chronological order of when they were released. The first thing coming out in May is obviously probably 90% of people's most anticipated movie, Doctor Strange Into the Multiverse of Madness. I didn't love the first Doctor Strange, I thought it was like fine. I'm not too excited for this movie because it looks like Cameo the movie, but what I am excited about is it's billed as like the first MCU horror movie, which I doubt it really will be, it's gonna have so many jokes in it, but it's a fucking Sam Raimi movie. Sam Raimi, the director of the Evil Dead trilogy and the director of one of my favorite, most underrated horror movies, Drag Me to Hell. That guy's making an MCU movie. I generally like the MCU movies, but it seems that no matter what director they get, they all sort of look and feel the same because they're kind of really Kevin Feige's movie. They're not really that director's movie. But hopefully Multiverse of Madness will be good. Uh, I got my tickets already for Friday, so I'll put up a video when I see it. In May 13th, we have Firestarter, another adaptation of the Stephen King Firestarter book. It's a horror sci-fi film about a young girl who gets the ability to control fire. It's starring Zac Efron, which I've seen Zac Efron give decent performances and stuff, but I doubt this is going to be like, you know, the next Hereditary or anything if they're casting Zac Efron. The guy who wrote the screenplay for Firestarter wrote the screenplay for Halloween Kills, which is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen in my life. So I'll check it out. It's gonna be in theaters or on Peacock for free. So you wanna know a hack how you can watch this movie for free? Get the Peacock free trial, watch Firestarter, and then cancel the Peacock free trial. That's what I'll be doing. May 20th, we have Downton Abbey, A New Era. I don't know what that is. I know it's a TV show people watch. I guess it's a movie now. I don't fucking know. May 20th also, we have Men, starring Jesse Buckley, directed by Alex Garland, one of the greatest up-and-coming directors who directed Ex Machina, who directed uh, Annihilation, and now he's directing Men. This movie looks very scary and, like, fucking trippy and creepy. It's an A24 film. I generally try to avoid trailers because I like to go into stuff blind, but I did see the trailer for Men, and this movie looks phenomenal, and I can't wait to see it. It definitely looks like it's going to be like a, a movie like hating on men or saying that men suck and they're bad. But if you're a man, who cares? It looks fucking awesome. May 27th, Top Gun Maverick comes out, which I still haven't seen the original Top Gun. I need to watch beforehand, but I love Tom Cruise. I love the Mission Impossible movies. I just love that Tom Cruise is keeping real action alive like in this day and age when so many blockbusters are just shot on green screens. Tom Cruise is keeping real action alive, so I'm going to be checking out Top Gun Maverick. And also that same weekend, the Bob's Burgers movie comes out. Now, I've never seen Bob's Burgers, but my girlfriend watches it a lot, and I always hear it in the background, and these people's voices, like, irritate the fuck out of me, so I don't think I'll be watching this movie. Um, if she wants to see it, maybe I'll suffer through it, but I do not like the voices the, just say annoy me all the characters i've sat down and watched the show for like five minutes and they just all annoy me i find them all irritating also in the month of may stranger things season four comes out which i don't really give a shit about because i think stranger things season two wasn't good and season three sucked the only good season was the first one i might watch season four i don't know the obi-wan kenobi show comes out very 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 excited for that ewan mcgregor i'm a prequelist i love the prequels I admit they're very, very flawed, but I think they're fucking awesome. Ewan McGregor in the prequels was awesome. I can't wait for this show. Deborah Chow, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be much better than that piece of shit show, Boba Fett. 